song of the day coming to you from I'm your host Mark Pierce. It's Thursday, Thirsty Thursday. For those of you who are thirsty, it is Thursday. Hope you're doing well today. What'd you think of Moth yesterday? Pretty good stuff there. I hope you check that out. Uh, it's getting towards springtime, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, it is also Mutton Chop Thursday. What do you guys think? Let's say once a year we do Mutton Chop Thursday or Mutton Chop Friday, whatever day of the week it is, that it's time to shed that wintry beard. Uh, what are we talking about today? All over my news feed this week, I don't know about you, but the 50th anniversary of Led Zeppelin Houses of the Holy. We've covered Led Zeppelin a lot, all their albums in season one. Uh, and but you can't let I mean you can't let 50 go by right 1973 March 28th 1973 it's their fifth studio album it's Led Zeppelin 5 did you go into the store and ask for Led Zeppelin 5 I mean you get Led Zeppelin 1 you got Led Zeppelin 2 you got Led Zeppelin 3 you got Led Zeppelin 4 Led Zeppelin 5 what happened they actually called it Houses of the Holy. When you bought the record, there was no name of the band on the cover. There was no t- title on the cover, just like Led Zeppelin IV. Um, they had, of course, the shrink wrap had the name on it, but uh, that was it. That's all you, that's, that's all you had to go by. Uh, again, Fifth Studio, coming off of Led Zeppelin IV, that mammoth record with Stairway to Heaven and Black Dog and all those other great rock and roll, all those great songs. Massive tour, successful tour, successful records. I mean, they're becoming the biggest band on the planet. And then what do they do? They throw a curveball and do a musical departure just a bit. Not as much of that blues rock that they've been doing. They throw uh, reggae, psychedelia, uh, doo-wop a little bit in there. I mean, they really did do a lot of different stuff on here. It got mixed reviews for that reason. We'll talk about that again in a minute. But uh, also, the title track of this record, Houses of the Holy, not even on this record. That's on Physical Graffiti. What? Who does that? That's like ACDC puts out Back in Black, and then they put it out on their, they, they cut that title track out, and they put it out on their next record, Back in Black. It's just bizarre. It's weird. I, don't, I, I should have looked up the story as to why that was. I don't know the answer to that. Uh, but again, also in these sessions, so, the, so uh, Jimmy Page and John Paul Jones had, at this point had home studio recording, uh, home recording studios, and they were doing a lot of work in their home and, and doing a lot of experimentation and figuring stuff out, and, and that's where a lot of this came from. So some of the other tracks that came out of these recording sessions that would be on Physical Graffiti, uh, The Rover, and Black Country Woman. And also another one out of this session, Walter's Walk, would be on Coda. So a lot of stuff came out of this one. Uh, this is their last record on Atlantic. Uh, remember, they, they formed Swan Song Records after this, their own label, Smart Move. Uh, and uh, again, this record, mixed reviews, but 10 million plus copies spent uh, almost a year on the charts in, the, in America. Uh, went to number, I believe went to number one in the UK. Uh, you know, there's a lot to like about this record. Um, all right, let's get to the tracks, the songs. The song remains the same. Love it. The Rain Song, now speaking of the Rain Song, Jimmy Page dropped a demo called The Seasons this week in in honor of the 50th anniversary. That song, The Seasons, would become the Rain Song. There's a really long uh, article that he posted about uh, him and what he has to say about that, the idea of him having these instrumental that would sweet, that would work its way into the record. But anyway, you should listen to The Seasons. We'll post it below that Jimmy Page dropped just this week. It's kind of exciting to think maybe they have some more stuff in the vault. Uh, Over the Hills and Far Away, awesome song. Love that song. Okay, The Crunch. First of all, the reason why this record got mixed reviews was because of three songs they didn't know what to do with. The Crunch, Dire Maker, and No Quarter. That's what confused the critics. They were like, what's going on here? And The Crunch, I get it. When I first started listening, finally listening to Led Zeppelin records when I was late in college, The Crunch, I was like, what is going on here? This is cacophony right this is like what's going on here there's all kinds of noises i mean I, i've come to peace with the track i'm okay with it but boy it is a tough one to love it sure is uh dancing days of course i mean you know there's your there's one of your most played led zeppelin songs i saw a lion standing on the corner with a tadpole in a jar what's going on there anyway what is that i mean we know about their references to lord of the rings but this one i don't know what that is uh dire maker like we said uh, that's your reggae song, by the way. There you go. 
uh, no quarter. I love no quarter. It's like that's what the psychedelia is about. Uh, psychedelic music. You really, I don't know what an acid trip is like, but you just you need to be on one when you listen to no quarter. I'm pretty sure. But I just love the way that it just uh, kind of moves along, and then also you know, the guitars, and then it's quiet. It's it's psychedelic. You gotta listen to it. Uh, and then you got the ocean to, to close things out. That uh, well, first of all, I think it's John Paul Jones who does. Uh, we something about doing. We've done this four times. We've done this four times already because they've done four takes already. Uh, and then he's like, "We're we're in a groove now, or we got it going, something like that." And then there's that opening, dun, 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 which of course the the Beastie Boys would sample on "She's Crafty" later. And of course, I mean, if you don't know where that's from, then obviously now you know. But the uh, the off stolen riff from the ocean. Can you, can you, do you know that it's called The Ocean? That's the funny part. You know it's Led Zeppelin, but a lot of, pop, a lot of people would be like, can't pull out the name The Ocean. Uh, and that's just awesome. So song of the day for me, it was down to The Ocean or the uh, Over the Hills and Far Away. And really has to be Over the Hills and Far Away. But we didn't talk about The Ocean. I, f- I forgot about The Ocean, the part that I like that. Na, 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 na. Or is it la 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 It sounds like not in the beginning and then it's las. But he does that, and I said I would never sing, but I just do every once in a while. And it, you know, you think it's this little this quiet moment, and all of a sudden, boom, you get hit right in the face with that guitar again, and you're like, what? This is awesome. So good. And that's why the ocean was like right there for me for song of the day. Uh, but uh, over the hills and far away, one out by just a hair. Uh, I just love this song so much, and uh, this is great. So you're listening to Led Zeppelin today. We're at seven minutes, like a like a good Led Zeppelin song. We're at seven minutes. Um, Houses of the Holy, 50th anniversary. Awesome record. Time to revisit it. I know uh, a lot of people have heard a lot of Led Zeppelin over the years. Maybe you haven't listened to it in a while, so pull this one out. Is this my favorite Led Zeppelin record? It's, it's up there. Is it two or physical graffiti or Houses? one of those three (laughs) i don't know uh but yeah listen to some led zeppelin today 50th loving thirsty thursday here in the cave whatever you're doing today i hope it involves music (sighs) almost eight minutes that's a lot all right take me out it's a good one looking forward to octane friday tomorrow and as usual i'll catch you on the flip side